Hello and welcome to the Croatian Baggies podcast. We're joined again this week with our good friend, Paul Sharna. Paul, how are you? Yeah, hi Dave. Hi Dan. I'm fine. Hello. Thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, we have quite similar weather now. Yeah. Uh, in Austria, the winter is coming back now. It's peak British <laughs> summertime this, Paul. It's not yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I experienced when I lived in England. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a very good winter. It was, uh, I think, 2008 or so. Yeah, I remember. It was uh, at 20 or 30 centimeters of snow, and uh, yeah, the, the country oh. collapsed. The country collapsed, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this week, we're here to talk to you about how to build long-term success. Yes. And Paul, I'll hand over to you. How, how would you build a long-term success? Yeah, it's uh, actually a good example this week, because uh, the Albions uh, won against uh, Chelsea, Every, everybody, or the main, mainly everybody, uh, thinks now, yeah, we can start a good run of, I don't know, uh, uh, yeah, accomplish a, a successful right. uh, season and a, 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 yeah, finish a good season and, and build on it uh, to, to, to create a long-term success, you know. But the, the main problem in this case actually is uh, the, the, the short-term thinking, you know. Yeah, because everybody is thinking, yeah, we won against Chelsea, who are contenders uh, for the Champions League spot. Uh, now, actually, we can compete and uh, build on, uh, yeah, a new strategy and philosophy and uh, winning for the long-term success. And uh, that uh, means, uh, on the other hand, uh, yeah, it's it's too short-term thinking. Yeah. So the next step uh, would be, uh, and uh, what we speak about yesterday, Dave, uh, it doesn't matter who starts the new strategy or yeah. the philosophy. new philosophy, actually. Uh, it could be Allardyce, of course, yeah. but uh, you need to stay and stick with it, you know? Yeah. Because uh, what we speak uh, in our uh, former, uh, uh, the, the, the videos before, we spoke about it. Uh, if you change it, quite often, you know, and especially the playing philosophy, it's very difficult, very, very difficult to, yeah. to build long-term success. Because with that comes the chopping of change of playing style, players. Yes, yes. And, and, that, and, and that means uh, it, it's very, it's very uh, vital that uh, the, the management of the club and also the board stay focused for the long-term success, you know. They yeah. need to bring in the long-term success into the club, in the employees, uh, to, the, to the supporters. So they need to be calm after winning against Chelsea and say, okay, it was a win, yeah. decent and a decent win, a deserved win, we won 5-2, but what does it mean for the future? And it's just a, a tiny part. piece, actually, the more small part, you know, because otherwise you stop thinking for the future or in the, into the future because of the result. Do you think that long-term philosophy has to start with a dream? So yes. To yes. So uh, I created uh, three, uh, three uh, words, actually, who uh, stick together, actually. It's, it it, 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 it starts with the dream, you know? So what can uh, the Albions of West Bromwich achieve in the next 10 to 20 years? Yeah. then uh, launch it and develop it, you know. Yeah. But it, 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 it needs time, actually, to describe the, 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 the dream, actually. So you need to get all, uh, all, all the people in who can be involved in uh, long-term success. Yeah. That, for me, uh, does mean uh, also all the employees at the club, of course, the board, of course, the management, and of course the supporters. Yeah. And uh, actually, now it would be a good pro uh, st starting point of the process because everybody is positive after the yeah, win yeah. against Chelsea. Yeah, you know? yeah. So maybe when we do another quote and ask uh, what what does success mean for you, it 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 could be different today than uh, yeah uh, three week. or four weeks yeah four weeks ago. <laughs> When launching this long-term plan for success, how important is it to recognise that you might not 
all happen straight away and it will take time to get the right people in the right place. Yes, yes. And and, and that's why it, it is so vital that you set the long term, uh, let's say, light, lighthouse, you know, where uh, you always can be focused if uh, also also when you are in, in, in a bad mood or in a negative run, you know, because that, that, that's so vital. Uh, that uh, if, if you have a, a, a bad run of 10 games, that uh, you not start uh, thinking, yeah, we need to change it immediately in the next uh, five or six games, you know. Uh, I think uh, Norwich is a, is a quite good uh, example at the moment. They're doing very well. Uh, they're, they're, they're doing very well uh, in, the, in the championship. So they are uh, very narrow uh, to the Premier League. But uh, what they miss or what they lack, uh, especially last year, is they believe that uh, we can survive be, or uh, we can establish in the Premier League, you know? Yeah. So that, that, that's, that's the next step for Norwich, that they start to believe uh, we are better than, uh, of course, championship and also good enough to establish in the Premier League. And then that, that all starts with the dream, you know? So what, 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 what's the, the next or the, what the biggest dream of Norwich now, you know? What's so the next they, step? What's the next step, you know? So you always need to develop. Also in uh, a successful period, you can't stop thinking of uh, the future. So we'll cut it there, 